one of her friends came with her. Oh, Rose came to Chicago? No. No, the, the daughter went to Questions that you never... <laughs> Tell us yeah. some of your secrets. Oh, oh yeah. Well, we're supposed to be getting your secrets done. Right? <laughs> 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 I can't see right. any. We'll interview Ivan, but he's an old man. You know, I just took a bit. I hardly have any salt on me at all. You should have waited a couple of days ago. I would have had a lot more salt on my knee. Uh, I think he wants cheesecake. Come here. How come you came back to Dork uh, Claybank's mother from Escanaba? You bought a farm from Uncle Gunder and. Well, Uncle Gunder lost that 60 acres. Oh. And for the for the rent, or for the taxes, you know, sometimes there's tax sales. Yeah. So we bought what own, what's the own land we bought that. Oh, I it just, claim. Do they call it? Tax claim. Uh, you can do tax that. Tax claim. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And this others was Gunders. Uh huh. Well, you still had this this paid up though. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was last paid up. And then, and then you did you did you buy this from him? From him? Gunder. You bought this from Gunder. Yeah, we bought this. Sure. Well, he was losing it too, you know. Yeah. He was losing the whole place. Oh, he was yeah. behind yeah. on these taxes but too. But you see, that was Simon's acres, I think. Oh. That's oh. how that was. Well, did, did Ben have any any uh, any no. part of it? He didn't have any any or claim Joe on it. Huh? Or Joe neither. Or Joe either. Th those are Gunder's brothers. So. Yeah. Well, Ben was gone, wasn't he? He, he died. Well, young. then we came here. Well, then John died. Well, then they wanted Dad to come up there and run the business up there, uh -huh. the electrical business. So that's why we moved twice. That's, then we went oh. back up there. Art, you know, Art was drank. So we couldn't oh, yeah. trust him with the business. Mm -hmm. so, so I was kind of satisfied to go up, too. But then when it comes going back, I didn't want to come back so far. No. I knew what it was, you know. Uh -huh. Although Dad had put in the water and uh, a sewer, and that was put in. Oh, that, uh, that was installed he did that. He, did that. he did that himself. Uh -huh. While I, I was up in Escanaba. And who was it? Herb. Hey, Dad, Joe. Oh, oh, well, it was only Herb. six weeks old. Herb. 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 Yeah, yeah. Herb. Because I was born down here. Yeah, and so was Wallace, she. too. Yeah. Yeah. So that was something. Yeah. Yeah. In the old Ford. Yeah. We had a pack of our own groceries and we all let ourselves. Where, where did that, where did that time, do you remember the time that we lost the wheel on the Ford? Do you remember that? <laughs> I was up, I was up in, in Upper Michigan there, and, I, and I'm quite sure we were coming back from here. I'm just a, just a small kid then. And maybe that was the second time you, the first time you came back there. But I can remember that uh, one time losing. The, 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 I can I can I can see that wheel that came off the uh, the, the well, cord and it went rolling down the road. You know, and of course oh. we stopped. And the best part of it was kind of a detour where we were going to go across the uh, bridge. The bridge was out, and they had a temporary bridge. Uh, and I remember Uncle uh, Grandpa. Uh, Walking and and uh, well no we couldn't have been coming back because Grandpa was uh, Grandpa was along but I can remember Grandpa walking to call someone or get a hold of someone. First thing of course we had nobody to cook for us you know, to give us a meal or anything but Gunder had a great big iron kettle on the stove with potato peels. Potato peels. And then no. potatoes with potatoes. Oh potatoes in the jacket. Oh. Potatoes in the jacket. Uh -huh. Oh, when my heart sunk, I tell you. <laughs> I had to start that kind of living. Uh -huh. Who ran the business in Escanaba then after you and Dad came down here? My mother's up in the show. I think it's so. I could. Well, I still was running. But then he was wiring. He was somewhere. Along a stream or a river or something, he was doing something with the lights and went down the water. Oh. And he kept, they think they got electrocuted. Oh, oh no, that was many, many years later. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, yes, I, that was after the he business, was. The business was all gone. I was sailing when Uncle Arden died. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That he was, was working in yeah, the Northwest. He was still there. working then. He huh? was working up there. Well, yeah. he worked there. He worked there independently, you know, wiring jobs and that sort of thing. But at that time, he was. 
he was in a boat and he was going putting out he was putting out lights on on pier that they were working on. He oh. wasn't even working as an electrician. Uh -huh. I think he was working for WPA or some some for the city or somebody like oh. that. But he reached up to put one of those things on. The boat kicked out. Well, away we were up there yet too. No, no, not when yeah. Uncle Art died. No, that that was in 1940s, was it? Yeah. Right. Gosh, well, we Uncle John, when, when Uncle John died, well, then you, you were down we were here there, then. Huh? I think we were up there with John. Oh, no, you died. weren't up there when I died. I was sailing yet. I know that. But I talked to Uncle Art many times on the street in Escanaba. Yeah, that was after, uh, during the war, is when, he, when Uncle Art died, I remember. When you when, after when, 1941, who, who, were, who were the neighbors here when you were when you were on the farm over there when you were a girl? Who, who were the neighbors? Uh, for instance, who was in George Brown's truck's place then? Peterson. Peterson. Portson. 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 Well, did Portson move over there too again? Two Portson. Well, there were two Portson. Three Portson. You were John, Leo, and Peter. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. The Heimbeckers, did they come here about the same time that, that Grandpa did? Grandpa gave well, I think Heimbeckers were here already. Oh, they were? And Hill. Oh. Now, I always remember the time you talk about walking down to the fair. How old were you when you'd done that? When you walked down to the fair? Maybe 14. About 14? Because <laughs> Elder Jomi walked with me. Oh, we got started together from Sturgeon Bay. No, but I mean when you went when you walked down, she you didn't she didn't walk down with you. No, we met downtown. Oh, and then you walked you over walked to the from fair. Here? No. Okay. Yeah, across the road. They walked from there. Hey, you know how much money they had to spend? How much? Huh? How much? A big fat zilch. They went to look. <laughs> they went to look. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Walk down and then, then they got to ride home with with uh, with who with uh, with the Heinbeckers, huh? Toby's. Thank you. Oh, oh, Toby. <laughs> yeah, all the way. That's only halfway. Well, that was oh. two thirds of the way. Home. Yeah. So that was what five miles or something? Well, about nine miles altogether. Yeah, down down there, there and then about oh. three miles. That they had to walk besides, and then, I, then they didn't get picked up until they were uh, probably on this side of Sawyer. Yeah. Yeah. But that wasn't, I, I wasn't walking with one of the Heimbeckers, though. I was walking with Ella Jomi. Yeah, I say, but then oh. you got a ride, you yes, always said you got a ride with the Heimbeckers home, yeah, didn't you? Home. Yes. That was just really I don't know how Ella got home. Well, of course, she got that far as to Toby's and then had to split off and walk. Because that's what she had a lot further to go to Ma because she lived up at, uh, at, uh, church. at the church. What time mm -hmm. was it? In the fall, later in the fall. Yeah, in the evening? Uh, yeah, it would be in the, in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Home. But uh, uh, fair time then was in September. Oh, it was later. And, and oh, the, I, I can remember those September fairs. Cool, rain. Yeah. Oh. Most of the time. You know, it always yeah. just seemed as though that's what happened. <laughs> Like? We, ne we never dressed up like that. Why they changed the talk? We dressed up in our best. Go to the fair and the dress mm -hmm. and gloves and everything. That's changed. <laughs> I think I was probably about six years old and I went down to the fair with Uncle Hank. When he came back, he had that old whippet with a uh, rumble seat in it. Yeah. And it caught fire up by a and madness. <laughs> had it stopped and put out the fire. And that was that we were all with him that time. Uh -huh. Vern and and, and uh, you and I don't know what Wallace. I was four there. or five years old. I don't know. Somewhere uh, uh, Laverne and I and, and you and I can remember I was in the front and you you guys were in the back. I don't know how many of us were in the front. I bailed out of there and I'm hollering, get out of there! I was afraid the the truck the, the thing whole thing was gonna explode or something. Uh -huh. And Uncle Hank always kidding me about that. Oh. <laughs> I was so scared you ran, you know. <laughs> no, I, was, I was afraid, but I wanted the kids out of the back too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, but I I think we went down to see the fireworks. Where yes, it was the fireworks that we waited for and it was cold. It was must have been early September then. <laughs> it was a real cold night. I could it didn't take a cold long. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just that a rumble seat would be cold anyway. Yeah. You, know, you take yeah. a night like tonight, and you rumble seat, you go, uh, yeah. it'd be chilly. You're pacing back and forth. You poor child.
Yeah, I remember the dog that we had, that white one, uh, cat. You remember him, Mother? I don't know where we got him from. But he was a good cow dog. It seems to me I found him and when he died, he was down, uh, died and he was laying in the creek down there. Oh, that, I cried considerably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we had one, another one that was Nero, Nero. No, I don't remember him. No. Grandma named that one. He said that must have been over at the grandpa's. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. this land. Then Uncle Gunder say that, that Grandpa, uh, that is Great Grandpa, uh, was the name Siebert? Yeah, Siebert. Great Grandpa and Gunder and uh, Joel and Simon and maybe Ben. But the whole bunch of them, they would go out clearing land for other people for $25 an acre. And that meant that they chopped down the, 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 the wood, and what they did with it, they just threw it in a big pile, and, 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 and they leave the stumps about that high. Then they pulled out the stumps and picked the stones and plowed it, except for the big monster stumps for $25 an acre. And Uncle Gunner always said, when the old man gave you two eggs for breakfast, that meant you had to really hit the ball. You had to really move around for two eggs for breakfast. <laughs> when, 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 his, when his father gave him two eggs for breakfast, because I think their, their mother died uh, quite young, huh? Or, or, she did, or did she keep house for them? Well, anyhow, that's how, that's how this land got clear. And then he was also a, a, a stone uh, mason. He, he, he laid lots of... Uh, Stone on the, on the barn. Yeah, lots of other places where he laid, laid the stone. The thick foundation wall yeah, under right. the house in the, the barn, yeah. the stable park. There. When he, and when he, laid, when, he, when he laid stone, that was put uh, mud in it, uh, really lo loaded it with mud. He was, he, I'm looking down the cellar on the walls. Right yeah, you, it didn't fall apart like some people. So, uh, <laughs> But then, as far as crops are concerned, this this was really not a uh, ever a very high-producing farm because they uh, on heavy land they, they planted peas and they kept planting peas for so many years and that didn't work out so good. You know, it finally ran out. Mm -hmm. But we, all of that down there that was that we broke that up in the hard times <laughs> in the. In the dry and hard, dry years and hard times. Most cows I ever remember, I think uh, we're, we had 13 in the farm, wasn't it? Uh, well, the, the I was thinking, that I, uh, I was thinking 14 or, or maybe 16. Oh. But that would be tops. Now we have a few young stuff beside yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And then I remember him saying, digging stumps out by the moonlight. Grandpa Severson? The keys. Had to, he had to clear some land. The whole land wasn't cleared yet. He had all the big pine stumps from the original uh, timbering up here yeah. uh, that had to be cleared out. Well, that, Grandpa Geach, Grandpa Geach did that over there on that, over in that north 40 over there, or in that north, where, where, where Beaver's house is now. Yeah. Shucks, he was 80 years old and he was out there picking away in those those uh, pine stumps. Yeah. Then he had a big rock up on top of the hill up there that he always bumped into, he always hooked it. And after he had re more or less retired from farming, he went up there and he started digging that out. And he dug and he dug, he must have dug a month. And he had a, well, I don't know how big the rock was, but they finally decided they couldn't, they wouldn't be able to budge it. <laughs> so they took a dynamite, a dynamite and they put a cap on it and they blew the top of it off and then they filled it back, pulled it back. Oh, back yeah. Yeah. He had dreamed, or a fortune told her, told her that he, there was money under that rock. Oh. <laughs> ah, reason! <laughs> gold mines, huh? Yeah, but when you get to be 80 up in your 80s, what the Sam is that gold mine? <laughs> 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 That's what he's striving for. Uh, Oh, this was just a typical small, well, actually, no, it wasn't either. It was not, not even a tip, typical farm because Dad always worked out. Whenever he could get a job someplace, he worked out. 
just wiring houses or uh, sailing work or sailing or whatever. Whatever he could do. And actually, I was 25, well, 24 before I got away from here. After I graduated from school, I, I was working out various places, but I always had to go home again. There just simply wasn't anything to, to keep you busy or any place where you could get ahead. Mm -hmm. Dad was paying me. Well, with it, oh yeah, and then Dad was telephone linesman, and I had that job. And in addition to the, so so whenever uh, uh, when I didn't make forty dollars a month on the telephone line, then he'd give me the difference. Well, I generally made close to it or a little over. But uh, uh, he'd always give me the difference, and then I could use the car, provided I wasn't running around every night of the week. <laughs> I was I was smart enough to know that I that once or twice a week with all that I should use it. That was the old Vili at that yeah, time, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, 33 by 6 inch tires. Yeah. And, 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 they, and I, I remember when we, at one time we took that engine apart and I don't know how many of the exhaust valves were burnt right off. There wasn't nothing but the stem left. <laughs> and then still it ran. It must have been running on about two or three cylinders. Oh, Gosh, Everett, you're on television. Oh, pull up your socks. No, that's not <laughs> part of my costume. <laughs> oh, I'm all right. <laughs> Colors, absolutely. It will be on color, too, so that color is okay. <laughs> what is that so good? It's going to be on color, in color. So what year did the barn burn down? Uh, Grandpa's barn burn. Wasn't that the year I was born in 1924, Mother? Or was it the year mm -hmm. after? I think, I'd make a guess it was 25 that they built. Uh -huh. So it burned in 24. The same no, year they built it. They burned, they, they burned it right the same day. Same year she burned. Oh, oh. She burned in the, in the wintertime. Oh. It burned down in the wintertime and they, they immediately rebuilt the next year. Uh -huh. And I think that was, I think, I think I think on the sill over there in the window is 1925. But I'm, I may be wrong by a year one yeah. way or another. Might be a jack and a fire. I'll tell you. Well, I remember the uh, the house burning down. I was in school and they, uh, somewhere or other word got up there that uh, to school and we were excused and came down and the house was just about burned by the time that uh, we got back from school. That was about 1934, somewhere's in there that the. the I was still going to high school. You were. Uh, oh, that would have been funny. Boyce and I. Then they all lived together here. No. Just for a little while. Then he moved into the, the, the garage. Because that garage was new then. When, when yeah. Yeah. And they didn't they hadn't start using it for chickens yet. What's it not you doing now? Yeah. No problem. What's wrong now? Is no, bus was still good? So what? Huh? Just want to get some more room here. Oh, you got to get more room. Well, isn't that dampness too bad for it, too? Huh? Go ahead, turn it off for a second. To catch fish for eating. Mm -hmm. I, don't, uh, I remember going out with him. I don't know how old I was. I don't think I was very old. I, uh, he had a different boat than the one we have out in the barn now. The, he had a 16 foot. He had a 16 foot. Uh, it, it, like, with uh, cedar. Uh, what would you call it? Strips. And the ribs were were were, were It was a round bottom. Uh -huh. And it was a very seaworthy boat. It had a keel on it. And I can re I can remember Dad going out there in the northeaster. He went alone. He wouldn't let anybody go with him. But well, he could swim good, and it w the weather was warm enough. But the nets had been out there th three four days, you know, and then the fish get rotten, and mm -hmm. the cotton, they they would rot the cotton net. And he would uh, <clears throat> so he rode out there, and I can I can see him yet. The boat would go down, and you couldn't see it, you know. And up it would come up on top of a wave, and then he was up in the bow of the boat, and he was pulling in the net. You know, and uh, he came in with the nets, of course. He just dumped him in the bottom of the boat. He came in with the nets, and uh, that, that was a, I, I can remember that sea out there, man. That was. We used to catch, we used to catch a lot of perch at times, a lot of herring, and yeah, uh, herring, sometimes perch. all suckers, which was suckers. a bad catch. To, uh, but uh, one, once in a while, uh, a lawyer, bourbon. <laughs> well, you know what a lawyer is, don't you? No. That's, a, that's a saltwater cod. Oh, yeah. Ah, saltwater, freshwater cod, bourbon. 
They call them a lawyer. They got oh, they, it looks like a catfish Mom. to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. They're good. They're supposed to be good eating. I never, I never eat them. But uh, grab a cruise and he skin them and eat them. Oh, I, I thought it was some of the lawyers I met. They might have been living out there. <laughs> I don't know how this fits that. I haven't been a Paul Tucker's a lawyer. So the farm really never had the I think maybe it's uh, kind of ability to be able to sustain a whole family then. Yeah. It just never was rich enough soil to, no, to be I don't, a good kind of farm. Well, even when that I don't think so. I don't uh, I don't think it was that. Uh, oh, it, it kept. It kept you going when t things were uh, was really rough, when you couldn't get anywhere. We always had enough to eat. Mother always had a big garden. I was just a lot of canning. And but there was a, there was one year when uh, when I went, what, that was the year I got out of high school, 32, in the hard times. And I got a job with Jim Johnson for 50 cents a day in my board and room. And uh, that year, Everybody, we all went picking cherries. I let everybody else went picking cherries, and they used the cherry picking money to pay the taxes. And then I gave Dad ten or fifteen dollars for my wages toward the taxes, and that's that's how the taxes, the real estate taxes, got paid that year. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it was just that that short of cash. You just simply the uh, the milk checks didn't amount to too much, you know, and you, you had to have some cash. After all, you had to have the. Uh, that, that was, those were rough days. Sometimes you didn't get a milk check because the condenser didn't have the money to pay the farmers. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a. Uh, that, that particular summer, I can remember that. Well, and then the gold broke, the milk checks? I don't know if they went. Uh, no, the camps they didn't. Broke. They didn't no, I don't broke. So. No. No. They, uh, they changed hands, but. Uh, I don't think they were ever to the point where they didn't pay at all. Uh, couldn't pay uh, eventually. Oh, yeah, but there was plenty of Yeah, could you share some thoughts on uh, Norman's family? You mean da uh, dad's? Yeah. Hmm. Well. Did Grandpa Knutson come up here from Manitowoc, Ma? Yeah, he must have. He came from Norway. No, he, I thought I always thought he was born in this country, and his folks came from Norway. He was about two years old, I understand. When, 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 when or they were here about two years. I don't know, one or the other, but I, I was always the impression that. I thought he was born in Norway. Well, he was quite young when he came, anyway. If he was. Mm -hmm. But then he came up, he came up, uh, up uh, how did he get up in this area in the first place? Mantua, I suppose he had some relatives there. Yeah, well, sure, that's where, where his father was, down there, he's on the same place that Eunice owns now, that, 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 that they had. Uh, no, that, that wasn't your dad's farm, home place? That was great grandpa Crutzen. Yeah, was that his? Yes, he had 20 acres there on Eunice, on the, on the Wigan property, and they, they got it eventually. Yeah, yeah, I heard Eunice tell us say that. Well, anyway, however Grandpa Crutzen got up in this area, he didn't stay here very long, but he got long, uh, he must have stayed here long enough to get acquainted with Grandma, and then, then he went on to Escanaba, and I don't know if he came back, and I never really heard whether he came back and, 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 and married her or married her on the way out, uh, up there. That I don't know. Because, uh, actually, he, he, as a young man, probably worked around here. I know he worked around here on the piers down here because I can remember Uncle Gunder telling about uh, how he could li he, he could lift a barrel of salt, Grandpa Cruz could lift a barrel of salt up on a wagon, and there were very few men could do that. <laughs> he, was, he was a powerful man, he was strong, he had a pair of shoulders on him like that. Now he had a brother, Alfred, uh, and he was up in Escanaba too, wasn't he? Yeah, they all, no, Con did, but you know, Con and, and, and um, Con was another brother. Con was another, and uh, and and um, uh, Gust. Gust, yeah, Gust. Uh, they all came from Mandela. Yeah, they they were out in 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 uh, Polk County, Wisconsin. The two brothers, the two other brothers, they were farming oh, out there. Oh, Gust and Con. That's yeah. right. I remember. Uh, and 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 uh, Con Con came back to Manitowoc, uh, to Valder's area, and he took over 
the, fa the farm that uh, that his wife's folks were on. Is that right? Yeah, pretty sure. That was, that was uh, Al on Alma's home farm. Or, or oh, where uh, Archie is now. Yeah, right. I think so. And uh, but, uh, how? Well, and, and one time, Grandpa uh, Cruson got hit by lightning up there. He was. He was out. Uh, they were they were working in the woods or someplace like that. Did the guy they got that was with him get killed? And he was he was unconscious for about I don't know. That's in that old Bible, but Wallace has got that now. That description. I of remember that. reading about that. But yeah. but, uh, he was unconscious for a long time. Who was that? Gavin Knutson. What was his name? Knut Knut Knutson. K N U T. He was a, he was a, a building mover. He built, moved buildings up in Eskenau. Well, carpenter too, because he built yeah, homes. Yeah, he was a carpenter, but exactly. his, pri his primary business at, at, the, at one time was moving buildings, because at one time they, they seemed to move buildings a lot more than they did now. And of course, those days it was done with teams of horses, and um, then they had hard maple rollers. We had some of them here. They were about yay big, and, uh, and a l large crew of men, uh, Munro, uh, our second cousin, he, he told me one time, at Knut, he was a hard man to work for. He was a driver. <laughs> well, he wanted to days work for a day's pay, you know. But the, uh, the, the people that were here, the Andersons, they, I think they did more physical labor than you could uh, write home about. Boy, oh boy, when you think of the the wood that they chopped down and the land that they and the stones they picked and the breaking up. Well, Uncle Uncle Simon, he uh, I don't know how I don't know how many tons of coal there were in a coal car during World War One, but uh, when they were unloading coal, they did that by hand, and uh, and he he started right on the top of the coal car. And, and, and in, in one day's time, he unloaded a car of coal himself, pitched it out over the side. Oh. <laughs> and he had he dug a lot of ditches. Oh, they were they were diggers and workers and del diggers and delvers, I'll tell you. Herb, uh, when Herb was up last time, he mentioned that they tried to drain the swamp out in front here and had dug a ditch through the ridge. Yeah, they did. And put a tiling in there. Yeah, there was there. tiling there. I saw that when I uh, uh, was, was here, but uh -huh. they, uh, I can remember that as a kid. And then he started digging here right past here, but he gave up north of the house. He oh, yeah. That's what we're yeah, talking about. The, the, it we're didn't have the right uh, level. Or you couldn't yeah. get the right pitch on it. No, you can you can almost see that. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it, that that's too too deep there. You'd have to run that tile way way down. Uh huh. Well, you're the most intelligent one on the picture, aren't you? Huh? Sure you are. You're a regular judge. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What, what about your grandmother? Is that is that your grandmother? Yeah, she really looks like an interesting person. An interesting picture, I should say. What was she like? Well, we didn't know her. See, I don't think Ma did, did you know her at all, Ma? No, she died when my dad was. Yeah, she died when my dad was about thirteen or 10, twelve, fourteen, whatever. <coughs> give you the lesson. She died because her husband signed a note while he was drunk and he couldn't pay it and so he lost the farm. No, that's not that gra that's not grandma. That's that's, that's great great grandpa. That's great grandpa. Oh, that's this is our grandpa that was here. You're not we're not talking about Aunt, uh, Grandma Emily. You're talking about Grandpa Anderson. Great grandpa Anderson. Mm -hmm. You didn't know her, but that's the one you're talking about that signed that that lost the farm. You lost the farm? I don't think so. Well, Grandpa Knutson never lost the farm. Well, I'm Grandpa Knutson, but Grandpa Anderson. Right, Grandpa Anderson. Yes. That's great, Grandpa Anderson. You're, yes. We're talking about. Well, he's the one that went out of the tooth and, and lost. Yeah, that's the place. right. Yes, and he lost it to Horn. And, no. and 
we were uh, we were living yeah. in Milwaukee at that time, and my dad was a carpenter, and the times were poor then. So he heard about the farm. They had he had quite a family then by that time too. He heard about the real estate got a hold of him, or he got a hold of a real estate man, and they took him out here and he bought the place. Oh, he bought it from uh, the farm was originally uh, from somebody they, else, not from Anderson. Oh, not from Anderson. No, they had lost it. The grand, grandpa, uh, way out but away. Andersons are, owned it originally over yes. there. Yes, yeah, yeah. Great grandpa oh, Anderson owned that, that farm over there, that, yeah. and he owned this one. Uh huh. But he, this one was in his wife's name, right? Uh, and that one was joint. And then I guess that, that, that anyway, somebody or maybe he owned that. But this one was in his wife's name. And he got down a horn spear, and somebody got him to sign a note, and there were no money changed hands. And then he, he it, when, when the time the note came due, they said, "Hey, you owe us money. We want it now." And they took the farm. Oh. Things were easier to do in those mm -hmm. days, you know. But uh, that, that's just, uh, how true that is. I don't really know, but I would guess there's some truth to it. Because. Uh, but uh, Horn got his in the end anyhow. He went down to Chicago, and he, he thought he could compete with the city slickers, and they cleaned him out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Horn, Horn thought he could go down there, and he, he could, he could Horn swoggle those boys, and they, they, they showed him a thing or two. <laughs> so when you, when, when you read the history of Door County and Stanley Green is saying how, what a great hero Horn was, why? You just, just take out a little grain of salt. Pretty sharp <laughs> individual, huh? <laughs> sure, he thought, he thought he was, anyway. So, uh, when was the shingle mill over in the woods here? Uh, I only saw the foundation when, yeah, when, when I was, was young. <coughs> That's all I ever saw. Uh -huh. You ever remember that, Mom? No, I never that was, that was, I would guess, back in the days when, when Grandpa Cruzan came up here. When they were timbering it off? Yeah, yeah, I would guess so. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few years after, too, it was kind of hard. Be about the same time as they had that pier built down uh, to the north of the farm. Yeah, place. Vader's Pier there. What was the name of that pier? Vader's. Vader. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, uh, now I was telling Mrs. <laughs> Bosley about that. And she had never heard of oh no, Mrs. Bosley, what's the other one next? Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Klein. Yeah, I tell Mrs. Klein about that. She didn't know anything about that. I said, well, I said, you're, you're living right there where there used to be a pier out in the lake there. Schooners came in there. And she said, I personally, with my own baby blues, saw, saw the, the, the row piling that was out there. I used to walk out to them and climb up on them and yeah. dive off them. During the low water uh, back in the 30s, but the thing was that along came a winter when we had a heavy ice, and the ice just just uh, managed to sort of clean them out. I must have had a, must have had a heavy storm at the same time, and they, mm -hmm. they, that one winter cleaned them right out. Of there. They were they were uh, a real menace to navigation if you come along there with a motorboat. <laughs> And then what else about uh, Well, it was all horsepower on the farm until when did Dad get that plea track? 1944 or something like that. Yeah. He know. sold off the, the last team at that time, didn't he? He sold off Dolly and Dick and... No, I don't think so. He had them yet when he got the tractor. Oh. I was mad at him. Oh. I did. He went down to Madison for a visit. And all of a sudden he went off uh, off the road, you know, somebody and I said, uh, where are you going? Oh, I'm going up this uh, way, a little ways up this way, he said. There's an auction. He saw in the Capital Times. He saw that. Uh huh. So he bought he bought that tractor without ever trying it on, without ever jumping on it or, or rolling it around the road a little bit. <laughs> Tractor. Well, was that the Ford or that that plea track? Was that that Ford tractor that he had? That Ford one. Oh, the Ford. Mm -hmm. one. Yes. Uh, well, I guess it worked pretty good, <coughs> oh, but yeah. that was a kind of foolish way buying a tractor, not even getting on it, isn't it? Reading it out of the paper, we from Sturgeon Bay to Madison. Well, halfway to Madison. Oh, I remember that plea track 
because it was all, I don't know, it was a part when he picked it up or the yeah. track was a part, something. It was, seemed like it was someplace down here off in County U to our town. Mm -hmm. Well, that was our first tractor. I don't know how much he spent fixing them. I know it was here when I got back from the Navy after I got discharged from the Navy and I started pulling the Commodore pile out into the east field and I lasted three days on that and then I decided to go to Green Bay to find a job. <laughs> the 52-20 club, which was 52 weeks of unemployment for $20 a week at that time, uh, lasted exactly one week for me. <laughs> you still got that coming. <laughs> no, I, I got the 20 bucks, but oh, that, did. That, I only collected one week. Yeah, but I mean, you still got, you got the other oh, 51, 51, sure. sure. <laughs>